Sorban is the Japanese abacus, and it's a little different from the Chinese abacus. Chinese abacus has two beads above this bar and five beads below. Well, the, the Japanese made the sorban or made the abacus more efficient, and they took away one of the beads on top and one of the beads on bottom. So instead of having it two and five, the sorban has one bead up here and four beads down here. Okay, be that as it may, we're going to show how to use the sorban to perform addition. So the first thing to do is to set the beads in proper position. They should be against the top and bottom away from this bar here. <clears throat> Just for reference, these upper beads are called heavenly beads and these lower beads are called earth beads. So, notice also that on this middle bar there's these dots here. There's a dot here, dot here, dot here, and dot here, so on. It's just a, a help to keep track of which digit you're working on. You can use any one of these dots at, to mark your ones digit. I'm going to choose this one here as my ones digit. Now how these beads work is each one of these upper beads, these heavenly beads, counts as five. Each one of these lower beads, these earth beads, counts as one. So for example, this would represent one, this would represent two, three, four, I'm counting up, this would be five, five plus one is six, five plus two is seven, five plus three is eight, five plus four is nine, then to represent ten, ten is a ones digit in the tens place and a zero digit, or zero in the ones digit. So, in a nutshell, that's how the how the beads work. Now, okay, I'm going to add these three numbers here. 5,286, 3,197, 7,829. I've already calculated the sum so we can check how we're doing. The sum is 16,312. Okay, I'm going to add these using the Soroban. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down this number 5,286. So if this is the ones digit, this is tens, hundreds, and thousands. So remember, five is done with the upper digit, our upper bead, the heavenly bead, like that. So that's 5,000. Then two on the hundreds rod for two two beads, two earth beads on the hundreds rod for 200. Now tens digit, we need eight. Five plus three is eight, and then we need six on the ones digit in the ones digit. So five plus one is equal to six. So here I've put down five thousand two hundred and eighty-six. Okay. Now one thing to bear in mind is that your calculations for the Sorban are done from left to right. So we're going to be adding. 3,197. So I already have a 5 here. I have 3 beads I can move, so I move those up for the 3. I'm going to add a 100 here, so 1 on the 100's rod. I have 1 bead I can move up like that. Okay, now I want to add 9 here. The thing is, I already have 8 there. Now normally a 9 would be 5 plus 4. But I've already used the five, and I've used three of the of the earthly beads. So what I want to do is instead of thinking of adding nine, what I want to do is I want to use what we can call a tens complement, and I add ten and subtract one. One is the tens complement for nine. I did that because I didn't have enough beads to move nine nine to the center. So I did the equivalent of, of adding 9 by adding 10 and subtracting 1. Okay, now this last one here, adding a 7. I have to add a 7 here. Normally, a 7 would be 5 plus 2. I have the 2 here, but I can't move the 5. So I'm going to play this 10's complement trick again. Instead of adding 5, I'm going to think add 10 and subtract 5. 
because 10 minus 5 gives me the equivalent of 5. So I add 10 and subtract 5. I've added 5 now. I still need to add 2 because I'm going to add a total of 7. So I push the two beads up. So now I've taken 5,286 and added to that 3,197. The subtotal that we have so far is 8,483. Okay, now I'm going to add this last number here, 7,829. Here is my Here's my thousands digit. I don't have enough to add 7. I've already got 8 there, so I do my tens complement again. I add 10, and then what's the tens complement of 7? 3. So I add 10 and subtract 3. Okay, so I've taken care of that. Now the 8. I want to add 8 here. 8 would be 5 plus 3. I can add the 5, but 3 is a problem. So again, I go to tens complement. Add 10, subtract 2. Okay. Now add 2. I want to add 2 here. There's, I don't have 2 beads down here, so I do the same thing again. Add 10. What's the 10's complement for 2? 8. So subtract 8. Last one, add a 9. I want to add 9 here. I don't have 9 beads available. Add 10, subtract 1. And I've added the three numbers together now. 16,000, this is 10,000, 10, so 1 here and 6 here, so 16,312. And that's how you add with the Soroban.